Hey Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Weekly Messages. We'll take a look and see what the cards predict for you in the upcoming week or so. Um, for those of you interested in a personal reading, feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed below the video. So let's go ahead and begin. Just reminding you, this reading is for Cappies, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising. And to those of you that might be cross-watching as well, Wow, Capricorn, just where do you think you're going? You've got... You've got momentum. You've got direction. You've got... You've got a very... You've got a lot of excite... Um, a very thrilling and exciting adventure that awaits for you. I just hope you're ready for this. You've got a fire in your belly. You're reigniting a spark, perhaps with a former flame. Perhaps you're igniting a spark that fizzled out, that was dormant inside of you. Wow, there's a lot of a lot of movement in your energies, Capricorn. A lot of movement, forward momentum, new directions, redirecting directions. Things are about to work themselves out. Mm -hmm. And you've got, wow, and you've got the Wheel of Fortune alongside the Lovers card. Okay, um, I'd like to begin by the reading with Justice in um, Reverse. For those of you that are waiting on an apology, or you're waiting for an explanation from someone, don't hold, don't hold your breath. Okay, because some of you, I feel like someone has done you wrong, whether it's a romantic energy, whether it's a connecting energy, like a friend, a sibling, a lover, um, I don't know, a colleague, whoever this person is to you. See, they did you wrong. Okay, they hurt you. They hurt your relationship, your friendship, your connection. Um, they may have ghosted you. They may have um, betrayed you. They may have just suddenly changed you know that they've done you wrong. And some of you, it's almost like you're waiting for them apo uh, to apologize. You're waiting for them to admit their wrongdoing. You're waiting for them to explain yourself. I just, I don't see it necessarily coming in. Not that it's not going to come in at all. I just feel like you've been waiting for so long. Um, and the more you wait for this, the more you wait for this person to wake up and, you know, um, and realize what they've done to you and realize that they were in the wrong i feel like the longer you keep yourself attached to that person their energy and that toxic interaction or that toxic situation um for some of you you could be waiting on closure as well right if someone's ghosted you maybe you don't necessarily want to work things out with them again you just want to find out why okay why um you know why it ended how, you know just so that you can close the chapter on that book Again, I think you're going to be waiting a long time, so I don't want you to hold your breath. Because for some of you, I feel like there's something here that... And the reason why I say this is because it keeps you holding on, okay? It, there's this sense of something needs to... And it's ended, but maybe you yourself have to draw on closure. Maybe you yourself have to be okay with the fact that some people just will never grow. Some people will never learn. They'll never apologize. They'll never admit their wrongdoing. And... It is what it is, right? The longer you wait on this person, on this energy, you know, the longer you're going to keep yourself attached to them or attached to that situation. And you don't need that drama. You don't need that negative energy. So for some of you, and, and some of you really need to hear it because, you know, you're, it's almost like you're really hurt or you're in disbelief that they did what they did or they said what they said or they hurt you the way they hurt you. And... As I've mentioned, some people will never learn. They'll never grow. And maybe this person doesn't even think they've done wrong by you. And you can't explain it to them. You can't learn it for them because they just don't get it. So your best bet is just to cut ties with this person or cut ties with this situation. You know, release it. Don't let it, you know, don't let it consume you. Don't let it linger for any longer. The reason why I say this because I just want to circle back to that whole movement thing that we spoke about at the beginning of the, the spread. For a lot of you, you're going places, okay? You you are like 
physically going places i see a lot of movement you could be relocating to and look this might not all happen within the week it may happen within the upcoming weeks the other thing you have to remember about tarot readings um and any readings uh, in general is because time is man-made it's a social construct it is non-linear so if it doesn't happen within this week it may potentially happen within the coming weeks and the coming months because for some of you this is a huge transformation and let me tell you it's not going to happen overnight so you know be patient with the universe because it knows what's best for you so movement okay some of you are traveling you have plans to travel some of this is going to be very spontaneous some of this is going to be you know has been on your radar for quite some time you've been planning to travel i see it finally happening um and in traveling some of you are moving to a different city a new state a new country okay and what waits for you there is a whole new adventure a whole new chapter um almost like a whole new world in a way you know a whole new story i feel like you for some of you um, there is an opportunity for you to find your soulmate um, to wherever it is that you want to go. So if you are, something he is calling you and it feels like it's at a distance. If you are drawn to go visit a certain country, if you're going to, if you're drawn to visit a certain place, it's because whatever is there, it's calling you, okay? Your frequency is attracted your vibration your energy is being attracted to that person place or thing it is not an accident okay it is not a coincidence it is calling you okay so it is fate basically whatever it is that you're being drawn to it's not happening by accidents or by an accident by coincidence it's happening because it is by design it is arranged it is fate it is destiny it is your soulmate it is your true love it is divine it is your dream you know it's meant for you and the reason why you're being pulled to it more so now than before is because you're finally receptive to this energy. Um, so don't, you know, don't let fear get in the way because I feel like some of you are starting a, a new life, a new chapter, a new beginning, okay? You're going to relocate um, and live abroad overseas. You're going to be doing a lot of traveling and on your travels, there's so much growth and there's so much you're going to connect and meet with new people and experience all these new wonderful experiences. And you're going to grow so much as a result of it. I feel like you're pushing yourself outside of your comfort zone and you know that's where all the growth is, right? You know that's where all the opportunities and possibilities lie. Because you've been comfortable for far too long, I feel like you're now ready to venture out. You're now ready um, to take a leap of faith. You're now ready to do things differently, whatever that might mean for you. Whether it's embracing a new opportunity, whether it's switching up career paths, starting on a new job, um, whether it's ending a relationship, you know, getting out of a toxic or a messy situation. Um, you're ready for what lies ahead. Some of you don't have it all planned out. And you know what? I'm here to tell you that it's okay. Um, it's okay. It's okay if you do. It's okay if you don't. Sometimes things don't always go according to plan. And sometimes, um, you know, the most uh, exciting and thrilling adventures begin off on the wrong foot or on the wrong turn. So it's okay, you know, if you don't see the whole staircase. So as long as you take that very next step, eventually in time, you're journey your plan your map is going to reveal itself to you and ace of wands i feel you know all aces are new beginnings and i see that there is a spark okay there are sparks flying between you and a new romantic energy as i've mentioned earlier for some of you this person is calling you okay so if you're drawn to a certain if you want to relocate whether it's to a new job or a new country or a new city it has it possibly has to do with the soulmate energy picking up your frequency and vibration and you know them wanting to connect with you on a soul level here um, I'm also seeing a lot of sparks flying between you and this energy and instant connection and instant attraction and instant souls recognition in one another um, for others of you this might not necessarily be love that I see. Well, not not in a you know romantic sense. I see that there's been a fire in your belly, and you're finally you know fueling it. Or I feel like you're chasing a dream of yours um, or a goal that is igniting this fire, this spark within you. It's reigniting it or it's igniting it. Something that's laid dormant inside of you for so long is being lit up here. And you're a force to be reckoned with. 
Um, so whether it's a dream that you've harbored and but you've brushed it aside and now you're going back to that, whatever it is, it's you know it's got you feeling. It's got you feeling all sorts of things. It's got you feeling um, excited. It's got you feeling very pumped. It's got you feeling very you know um, passionate. Um, you, you're ready. You're ready for this new chapter. You're ready to start this new job. You're ready to take on this opportunity. You're ready to meet someone new. You're ready to come into complete soulful alignment with who you are, what you want. Um, it's just, you know, there's this energy of you being very excited for what lies ahead because a part of you, even if you don't necessarily know what lies ahead, you trust that it's meant for you and you trust that it's in your greater good. Um, you've come up as a six of pentacles here. I feel like the scales here are balancing themselves out. I feel like things here are finally working themselves out. Um, and I feel like you're finally getting it. You're finally prioritizing your happiness. You're finally maybe ending chapters or walking away from situ from certain situations to find your happiness, to find your love, you know, whatever that may be, to find your goal, your passions here. Um, you're finally responding to you're finally responding to your higher self and your higher self's desires here. Um, I see that there is a lot of people in your life that are coming into your life that are connected to you by the threads of fate with the Wheel of Fortune. I see that for a lot of you, you know, you've had your misfortunes in love or you've just had your misfortunes in the different areas of your life. But the Wheel is in constant state of motion and the wheel is about to turn and trust me things are about to turn um, for you in a huge and positive way um, there's going to be this major turning point in your life that will lead you to the right person will lead you to the right situation will lead you to your one true divine love something everything that is happening for you has been carefully designed and has been orchestrated by divine by the divine okay by cosmos here you just need to trust in that. You need to trust, um, trust in yourself, trust in the things that speak to you and that you're being called to because it is not an accident. It is fate. It is destiny. So heed the call. Okay, guys, and these are your messages. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Please share your support by liking, sharing or subscribing to the channel. Bye, guys.